This echocardiogram comes from a patient experiencing exacerbated dyspnea, where severe mitral regurgitation (MR) is clearly seen. Before considering mitral valve surgery, it's crucial to identify the underlying cause of the MR. Sometimes significant MR occurs even when the mitral valve itself is structurally normal. This type of MR is known as secondary or functional MR. In functional MR, the mitral valve leaflets and cordae are intact, but the valve fails to close properly due to abnormalities in the surrounding structures such as the left ventricle or mitral valve annulus. Let's dive into the pathophysiology. Left ventricular enlargement or regional wall motion abnormalities in the LV can cause papillary muscle displacement. This leads to tethering of the mitral valve leaflets, a restriction that prevents proper valve closure. As a result, Malcoaptation of the leaflets occurs, contributing to mitral regurgitation. That's why it's crucial to evaluate the mitral regurgitation in the context of LV size and function. The stuttering of the mitral valve leaflets causes them to appear tent-like, which is a hallmark feature of functional MR. In this 3D echocardiogram, we can see the mitral valve leaflets from the left atrial side, normal in appearance. And here we have a view from the left ventricular side, showing a normal mitral valve leaflets. In terms of managing secondary MR, the primary focus should always be on treating the left ventricular first. If MR persists despite optimal therapy, then you can consider a valve-specific intervention. Now let's look at this view of another patient with severe MR. Here, we see that the mitral valve leaflets are domed and exhibits restricted motion, which indicates primary mitral regurgitation due to rheumatic valve disease. In conclusion, tenting of the mitral valve leaflets during systole suggests functional MR, and management should target the left ventricle. However, if you observe doming of the mitral valve leaflets during diastole, this indicates that the mitral valve is the culprit lesion and is affected by a rheumatic process leading to rheumatic mitral valve disease.